Heritage Railways have the unique distinction of attracting old and young audiences, even those who have no interest in trains. Rescued from rail closures of the beaching acts, they hark back to a half-forgotten era of travel, possessing an air of nostalgia missing today. Being a romantic and someone who has no idea of how an engine works, I find Heritage Railways fascinating subjects to photograph on an artistic level. There is more to photograph than trains and engines. Many station buildings are either restored or rescued from abandoned routes. The staff, who are volunteers, dress the part, providing a complete experience. And there are workshops servicing and repairing engines and rolling stock. I keep my camera kit simple, often just one camera and one lens. Currently I use the Olympus EM1 Mark II and Zuiko 12-100 Pro lens, which in film format is 24mm wide angle to 200mm telephoto, a generous zoom range covering most situations, even candid shots of railway staff. Both lens and camera body have image stabilizers, removing the necessity for a tripod, which will be awkward on a busy platform. Some photographs are taken with an Olympus EM10 Mark III and the more modest 12-50 zoom, which, despite its technical restrictions, is an excellent optic for its modest price. Leaving the tripod at home gives me greater flexibility. Things move fast when photographing railway personnel. It is too easy to have something annoying in the background, so you need to be adaptable and not tied to something. That has occurred with this tea break, but here the background is less intrusive. She was saying, I wonder why he is taking our picture again. A single shot may not always provide the right image. I always save to RAW. By all means save to JPEG simultaneously. Some careful tweaking is essential in Lightroom, especially if you have a black engine against a bright sunny background, risking incorrect exposure. Photo Soundbite 16 covers in detail how I adjust images in Lightroom. It helps to underexpose by a third of a stop. Spot meter for accuracy, ISO at 200 and white balance on daylight or cloudy, not auto. In a fast moving scenario I shoot on program, changing to aperture priority for depth of field requirements and shutter priority for movement. See my photo sound bites for more information about these techniques. Whilst engines and trains, some with vintage carriages, are obvious photo highlights and railway staff too, don't overlook station architecture and even those little detailed cameos that most people would walk by without even noticing. And don't worry, if it is pouring with rain, it can still look good. Modern digital cameras have excellent video quality, usually 4K. With 
digital projection, it can be used with still images without obvious loss of quality. The image stabilizer on the EM1 Mark II <laughs> permits hand holding when a tripod should be essential. This I tested on the Mid Hans Railway, the Watercrest Line, on a visit in 2018. As a lecturer, I often mix cine recording movement with still images, particularly trains, an obvious subject for video, heightening their impact and appeal.